President Muhammad Buhari should be commended for promising and working towards giving Nigerians a free, fair, and credible election in 2023. PDP House of Assembly candidate for Ifako Ijai constituency 2, Dr. Adeshola Wasiu, said this in an interview with journalists. According to him, the promise of a credible election is the legacy the president wants to leave for Nigerians whilst maintaining that their presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, is the man that can fix Nigeria. We don't need anybody to tell us where we are currently. We all know where we are. It has been bad for the past seven years and um, we just hope that uh, things will get better. And uh, we pray that the new sets of government coming in would have that um, grace to be able to change uh, what has happened in the past seven years. Um, what we need is the real change. We need something that will come in. We need a working government. We need a government that will have empathy. We don't need a government that will tax our people. We don't need a government that would continue what is currently happening in the states of Nigeria. You don't say what is currently happening. Speaking on the state of his constituency, Ifako Ijaye, the aspiring lawmaker frowned at lack of basic amenities in the heartland of the local government, which he says takes the lead in protein and water business in Lagos State. Dr. Adeshola Wasiu, however, pointed out that as large and effective as Ifako Jaye is among other local government areas, it has only two secondary schools, a situation he believes shows lack of true representation in governance. I have lived in Ifako Jaye for the past over 30 years. I grew up here, went to school here, and I'm living here and currently working here as well. I am the real Omoadubo. Okay, we live in this area and um, we have seen things. And um, let me start by reading out some facts. In Ifako Jaye, it will surprise you and beat you to know that there is no other than two secondary school, government owned in Ifako Jaye. Ifako Jaye has a population of over 500,000. Ifako Jaye is the 10th biggest local government in Lagos State. Ifako Jaye only can boast of two, just two, secondary school. Secondary school complex. They are complex. They have. They you know what they do. Have a have a complex. Then you have three, four secondary schools there, and um, the schools are located at the fringe end of Ifako Jaye. Okay, fringe. One is there. One is there. None in the heart of Ifako Jaye. Ifako Jaye is the uh, the local government in Lagos that produce protein, highest number protein that service the whole protein demand of Lagos State, over 80% protein is being done in Fako, Adabati or there. Okay, Ifako Jaye is the first that supplies water to Lagos State. Water is being taken from Ifako Jaye up to um, GRE. Dr. Adeshola Wasiu says he is optimistic of emerging victorious, but gave assurance that as a lawmaker, he will push for good representation of the people to achieve good plans already outlined for their benefits.